wrote something. Okay, I'll just start with google.com slash, um, now these days maps has come with that, map slash location, question mark, whatever, like X, Y, Z, one, two, three, whatever, right? So it's a huge URL for suppose a map uh, location you want to share, right? Um, so what you can do is you can use any kind of a service, any URL shortener service we call USS, uh, something like a, a tiny URL or um, there is few more as well, right? Uh, bit.ly bit .ly, or something like that. So you you provide this URL and basically it, what it will give you, so this is the long URL, it should give you the short URL. Okay, so short URL it will give you like https colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash. Uh, this is the question here. Like, you know, uh, it, it varies from all to all company to company. So generally six to seven characters, alphanumeric characters are used. So it will, it will be like one P S two, three, uh, five X Y. Okay. So you have given a use uh, a big URL and you have fit to the uh, tiny URL service. Tiny URL service provided you this HTTP tinyurl.com slash this. Now you can easily share this and it might be easy as well. Like, you know, it's just this number is what needs to be remembered or if somebody shares with this number, you know that this is the base URL and you can put it and you can access it. It, it is, and also it consumes less space. Uh, it's easy to share. Uh, what happens when is this is to generate? And if you share, share this link, what will happen is somebody clicks on this. Uh, it will again go to the tiny, tiny URL service and the tiny URL service will resolve the original URL, which is this one, and it will redirect you to the original URL, right? Anybody is there who hasn't used or haven't used um, any URL shortening service or they're not aware of what exactly it is? Anyone? Yeah, I did not use it. Ram, okay, so uh, did you get it, Ram? Like what exactly it means, uh, you know, what it is used for? Yeah, I'm able to understand this. Okay, so you can you can try it by yourself also. You can head over to tinyurl.com or bit.ly or URL shortener. Just take any big URL, put it there. It will give you a short link. Copy that short link, open another tab, just put it there. It will You will see that it resolved you to the, again, the original one. This is what it does. Now, why do we do it, right? I already explained you the reason that, right? It helps you to, you know, basically uh, short it, create an alias, and uh, it becomes pretty easy. I mean, see, the tiny URL is but even it's still a little, uh, you know, a little long. Uh, Twitter and all, I think they have something t.co, go, dot gl. These kind of small, small uh, uh, base URLs are there and then followed by seven numbers. So just imagine the, the shortness of these URLs and becomes very um, um, easy to uh, share and also uh, you know, remember as well, if you if you at all you want to remember that URL as well, right? So it has been extreme, extensively used, and you might be seeing that you know even the Twitter or Google also, and if you just go and check your email uh, uh, messages or the emails, you will definitely see a lot of uh, links which are provided to you, something like t.co. Uh, suppose HD, HD, HDFC Bank is there, that short form .com or .co, Google.gl or something sort of, right? Uh, okay, now the question is. How, if you are given, now the question is given to you, the way you are like, if you go and attend the interview, you'll be saying that, okay, fine. You need to attend, uh, you need to design a tiny URL service uh, in, for your organization, how you are going to do it, right? Or for a consumer, like all the consumers, you just need to build this particular uh, entire tool, right? So what is what will be the first step? What will be doing it? Um, okay, uh, prior to that, I start, uh, I will be talking about one of the uh, topic which we will be using uh in our uh, the design today so i'll just pause here first before talking about the features functional requirement non-functional requirements and I'll, I'll head over to one thing because without that it will be difficult for you guys to understand so how many of you know what exactly is base 62 base 64 encoding we will be using this in in our uh, upcoming i mean in this particular design and that's why i just want to clear this out so that it will not be difficult for you guys to understand. Uh, do you know about the base 64 encoding, uh, 62 encoding, or or, or maybe, uh, you know, decimal to binary conversion or decimal to hexadecimal or something like that? Do you know the process, how it happens? Any, anyone? Uh, so Divakar, base 62 encoding is basically your uh, 26 uh, A to Z capital, A to Z small, and then 0 to 9, 10, right? Absolutely. That's all. Yes, 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 yes. 
so basically whatever i mean uh, the encoding service basically it, it pro- whatever input you give it provides you an encoded uh, string uh, comprised of these 62 um, about combination of uh, al- i mean alpha numeric correct absolutely yes so what happens is uh, you know the way it works is let me just uh, you're right uh, subrat thanks for saying in so uh, let let me just explain you what it means and how it helps right so the base 64 encoding or any encoding the way it works is um, uh, so what what do we do is suppose you want to encode a character suppose and so there is a you know, i'm just taking the small one i want to do a encoding for this one uh, base 64 encoding okay so the internally the i just want to explain you so that you will get to know and also you can explore more uh, later uh, it's more of a operating system and uh, computer science related uh, concepts so the way it works is let me explain you so a and t i want to convert this i want to encode this base 64 encoding okay so what what exactly do we do is the first thing internally it happens is it uh, finds out the uh, what is their ascii value so the a capital a ascii value is uh, um 65 yeah 65 okay 97 okay let's take this one as a smaller one so that we can get all the range um, so 65 is the capital a then n will have um, okay 110 and then this will be 700 okay 100 so you know the ascii code right right so every character you type in your keyboard um actually there is an associated ascii value to assign to it and that ascii value uh, you know again gets converted into their eight bit binary okay um, guys you'll have to understand this because we will not be able to uh, implement uh, uh, tiny url without this i mean we can i'm not saying that that is the only way but this is one of the solutions we need to propose to them right or this is one of the solutions people are still using it i mean there are various ways to implement the tiny url uh, this is one among them okay and that is why we are just trying to understand what it means it just hardly take 5 minutes so just bear with that and then we can we'll continue on that okay so th- we have taken the character a and we uh, we found out the ascii value associated with it and then uh, we convert that into a binary uh, eight digit binary so it will be like 65 right so 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 okay 65 64 plus 1 okay so it will be starting with 1 then 0 0 0 4 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more will be there. One more zero. Okay. So this is like uh, two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three, two, four, two to the power five, two to the power six, two to the power seven. So, uh, so sixty-four plus one, sixty-five. Okay. Um, similarly, for this one, also there will be a bits. Okay. Uh, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, three, four, seven. Okay, there will be one more. Then similarly, this will also will convert one hundred, right? So one hundred will be zero zero one zero zero one one zero. Okay. So what I did is basically, you know, three four five six eight. Okay. So I've just converted into a uh, eight bit binary. Okay, binary value from sixty five to this, and how it is done, I think you guys all know, right? Uh, you just keep dividing it by two. and um, uh, whatever the number you get uh, so it will be like 32 and then reminder 1 so one will be there uh, you know like that you'll have to uh, do that conversion i will not go into that deeper uh, how to convert a decimal to a uh, binary now what will what do we need to do is we need to uh, convert uh, we need to so we need to make a, a six bit character from this so what we'll do is we'll merge this into a six bit each so there will be a total four the eight Eight, 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 three, zero, twenty-four. So it will be like a four, four sets. So we'll take these uh, six, uh, this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So first we'll keep here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more, six. Then this will be there. Zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. Two, two, four, two, six. Then the remaining one is here. One, 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 zero, zero, one. and then similarly here also 100100 so what i did is i'll tell you so i'm just making a group of 6 2 to 4 to 6 so i've taken this as one group this as one group then this two and four from here as one group then this four and this two from one group this one group like that okay so there are four groups i have made and then again what we need to do is we need to convert these to the decimal numbers so if you convert these to decimal numbers 
you will get uh, one, two, 16. Similarly, you will get this one as 22. This you will get as 57. And this you will get as a 36. So you got 16, 22, 57, and 36. So this is the numbers 16, 22, 57, 36. Now, now what we will do is, so we have converted from uh, 8 bit to 6 bit to make it convert into the uh, 64 uh, bit, uh, 64 uh, conversion. And uh, then we have made it a club of 66 uh, six, six bits because 6 bit represents that uh, 64, uh, 64 base encoding. And then we got converted into the decimal numbers. So we got these decimal numbers. Now, what do we need to do is we need to have a table, okay? Uh, and the table basically tells you about uh, the uh, the numbers of that. So let me uh, just share the table. If that table is there with me, um, it will be something like this. Um, okay, so let me just write it. Uh, I can do it here. Okay, here again, I'll do that. Okay. So the table, the base encoding table, right? Um, the weight. Um, so we have got this number. We need to translate these to the encoding now. The final encoding, the way it will work is, um, so uh, you will have something like a zero representing A, a one representing B, two representing C, three representing D, and so on. Okay, uh, till 25, it will go. So 25 will be your capital Z. Okay, um, then uh, you will start with a uh, small a, so your 40, so 25, and then 26 will be your small a, 27 will be your small b, 28 will be a small c, and so on, till z it will go around, uh, I guess, 51. Yeah, 51 will go as a small g, and then you'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till 9. Now, there is a base 62 if you can consider, then base 62 will comprise of capital A, small a, and uh, 0 to 9, okay? But if you take base 64, there are two more additional thing comes plus and slash. So plus and slash, if you include, that becomes a 64 encoding. Otherwise, if you want to strict, restrict it to 62, um, that in that case, you'll just stop at 9. So you just refer this table. So if 16 is there, so 16 will come Q. So it will become a Q. Then 22, 22 will become W capital W, uh, 57, 57 will come around uh, 5, and uh, 36, 36 will come with that table, it will come, I think U or something, right, or, yeah, that will be U, I guess, okay, so, so this is what, uh, 57, uh, 36, 36 should be, 36 should be K, right? Not Q. That's what I was missing. K, Q, W, 5, K. Okay. So what it meant is that if you use base 64, you pass A and D, the result you will get is Q, W, 5, K. You can go ahead and check in your browser. You can go ahead and check any library. The Python library is also there. And you can just do the encoding uh, for A and D later. You will get Q, W, 5, K. Okay. So this is what encoding means. Uh, every uh, character uh, gets converted into that binary format and then you make it a club of six and then you get that one, okay? Uh, that is one thing. Uh, there is one more thing which you might be like, I was speaking just uh, prior to that is that the base uh, conversion, right? So uh, if some number is in 125 and if it is a you know base 10 and if you need to convert it to some another base, uh, like, you know, uh, hexa based how do you do so basically right it represents uh, each value right when you say decimal so decimal um, number basically is called 10 power right so the first will represent 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 so 10 to the power 2 means the last this character has a place value or power as 10 to the power 2 so it's like 1 into 10 to the power 2 plus 2 into 10 to the power 1 plus 5 uh, into 10 to the power 0 so 10 square means 100 plus 20 plus 10 to the power 0 uh, is 1 plus 5. It becomes 125. So any representation, when, when somebody tells you a number, um, uh, you know, generally, I mean, we don't, uh, our default assumptions or our default mindset is that if I say 100, uh, if I say 56, we assume that we are talking in decimal and that is the default nature of our mind and we have mostly adapted that particular 
base encoding so our base is currently set to the uh, 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 base 10 but there are numbers like you might have heard about the octa uh, hexa uh, right binary what we just talked about so every has that you know place so if somebody gives you a number in octa right so you know 326 so if if i say this is in base 8 that means it is 3 into 10 to, uh, 8 to the power uh, 0 1 2 uh, plus 2 into 8 to the power 1 plus 6 into 8 to the power 0. This is what the value it is representing actually in decimal. Okay, which you need to convert it again, you have to do it. For hexadecimal, what happens is as it is a 16, so we take 0 to 9. After that, we start going into A, B, C, D, E, F because we can't further represent after these 9. So whatever number comes like 14.